Hello, and thanks for watching. So in the spring of 2020, Michigan suffered a massive flood, which caused a series of dams to fail, one of which was the Edensville Dam, which in turn caused Wixom Lake to run dry, which revealed a steam shovel that has been sitting there on the lake bed for almost 100 years. The steam shovel belonged to the late father of this man, whom they call Fixie. Fifty years ago, Dad's goal was to bring this steam shovel to the surface and make it dig again. While it is still quite an undertaking, since the water has all drained out of the lake, it makes removing the steam shovel from the lake bed a much more manageable task. On September 26, 2020, work began in earnest as Fixie and a group of volunteers began to remove certain parts of the steam shovel in preparation for the big move. Among the items that were removed are three nearly identical devices called steam motors. The critical thing is, is three steam motors that are on there. If you can salvage the three steam motors, you can build a shovel. It's really hard to tell because now that we're getting like the steam motors off today, we got the motors off so we can get those soaking in an acid bath and all that stuff to try to get and see if we can free them up. Because that's our biggest hope right now is that them steam motors will free up. Because if we can't get them to free up and we can't get them to work, then we have no steam shovel. The purpose of today's video is to explain what is a steam motor, what does it do, and why would somebody want one? A steam motor has the same basic function as an electric motor or a gasoline motor. I will likely get comments that the gasoline version is called an engine and not a motor, but I digress. But all three versions, gas, electric, and steam motors, all do essentially the same thing. They convert energy into rotary motion. So let's take a look at how a steam motor does that. Steam pressure is essentially the same as air pressure. And the steam motor functions by applying pressure to a piston, which forces the piston to move, similar to this syringe. Unlike the syringe, to make the piston move in the opposite direction, a steam motor uses a valve to pressurize the opposite side of the piston. That way, it gets powered out and it gets powered back in. They call that double acting. At the end of each stroke, the valve forces steam pressure to move in or out, which results in this reciprocating motion. But if we want to drive wheels or a winch or gears, we need to convert this reciprocating motion to rotary motion. That is accomplished by attaching the reciprocating piston via a connecting rod to a crankshaft, which in this animation is also a flywheel. A flywheel is necessary as it essentially works like a battery and stores rotational energy, smoothing out the motion as the piston cycles in and out. The steam motors used on this THEW Model Zero are twin cylinder, double acting, offset by 180 degrees. Adding a second cylinder that is offset from the first one adds more power, but it also smooths out the cycle. Fixie wanted to give a shout out to Michigan Land Maintenance LLC and Dan Burgess for operating the skidster that helped remove the steam motors and the boiler. And here is a photo of the first steam motor once it got home and cleaned up a little bit. And then the inside is remarkable. Here's the piston and the cylinder. You can see it looks really good for spending 95 years underwater. Press the subscribe button now to keep up on all the latest updates involving the removal 
and restoration of the steam shovel and cool little explanations on how all of its parts work. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.